Λοιπόν, καλησπέρα σας και από μένα. Ε, για να μην με βάλετε στο Radio Narvilla με τα Greenglish που θα ακούσετε, θα κάνω convert σε English στο presentation. Οκ. Okay. So, we're talk about digital transformation. Um, what is digital transformation? We're going to see which are the pillars that the organizations need to address to be successful in digital transformation. We are also going to see a couple of videos with uh, digital disruptive examples. And then I'm going to have only a couple of slides from Microsoft on what we're offering. So it is, it is well known and accepted over the last five, six years that technology is the most influential external factor that has an impact to our business. We've seen new business models coming in, changing what we knew traditionally as a source of income. And this is happening just because of the increasing role of technology in our society and in the way that we actually interact with our peers, with our social networks, and the way as individuals we are actually um, communicating with each other today. So all of us, we have three, four different devices. We have tablets, we have uh, um, uh, smartphones, we have wearables, we have laptops, we have installed sensors everywhere. And these devices and sensors, they transmit data and they receive data. Data stored on cloud, stored in our own data centers. And even today, we have the, the opportunity to analyze this data and provide to the end user the opportunity to get informed decisions in real time. This phenomenon that we are living today and the capitalizing on, on these advancements in technology is, uh, is helping us to drive disruptive changes in the way we do our business. And this is how we define digital transformation. We're actually living in the digital era for six to eight years now. But today, when we talk about digital transform transformation, we refer to actually digital disruption. Let me show you an example, a video of Microsoft HoloLens. Who knows what HoloLens are? Some Microsoft people know. <laughs> so HoloLens, they are wearables, there are glasses that bring the digital world into your reality. So we refer to augmented reality. Let us see some applications of HoloLens. Look around. Technology is all around us. We use it in every aspect of our lives. It enables us to do amazing things. But what if we could go further? What if we could go beyond the screen? Where your digital world is blended with your real world. Now we can. This is the world with holograms. What will they enable us to do? New ways to visualize our work. You know, I have an idea for the fuel tank. New ways to share ideas with each other. How are things going your end? I just put the images in one drive. Perfect. More immersive ways to play. New ways to teach and learn. So put the new trap in the place of the old one. Now what? And tighten here and here. New ways to collaborate and explore the places we've never been. Look at this formation. Let's take a closer look. And new ways to create the things we imagine. When you change the way you see the world, you can change the world you see.
This is Microsoft HoloLens. HoloLens are actually now experimented by NASA. Um, we are actually seeing HoloLens, HoloLens being used in medicine, in robotic surgery. But they are also used to transform the product that we provide to our customers. So we have, let's say, travel agents having what we call holo tours. So you can walk, you walk, you, walk, you wear the glasses, and you can see when, where is going to be your next destination, and you can start feeling the experience. We saw a small example there of how a plumber could actually see what the housewife could see at the same time and gave directions on how to fix the tap at that moment. In business leaders have realized that um, digital transformation is in one way direction. They have also understood that it is not an IT project. Digital transformation is a cultural shift of the whole organization. And therefore, we need the right skills. We need the right skills so that business people will understand the capabilities that can be offered to, uh, from, to them by the technology in order to use them. IT is the heart of digital transformation, is the enabler. And IT people need to be transformed. They need to know business. All of the business leaders, they all agree that harness information to change the way to do business is a core ingredient to success. So this is from a Gartner research in 2015. Only in 2016, it was estimated that the top 10 industries would spend or invest 150 billion USD on digital transformation. By 2019, the annual investment will be 200 to 240 billion worldwide for these 10 industries. But it's easy to justify the investment because digital transformation drives down cost, operational cost, and it's very easy. And if you can manage what we call digital disruption, actually to convert this investment to return. So, what are the major pillars that, you know, pillars that an organization need to address in their digital journey? First of all, is how we engage our customers or our citizens if we're a government. We need to have a compelling experience. We need to have a consistent experience through an omni-channel environment, an omni-channel approach. And, and we need to be also be able to connect with them from every possible channel. And we need to bring re relevance with the customer at every point of interaction. The other pillar is collaboration. We're talking about how to empower our employees within the organization to gain productivity. We're talking about modern workplaces. We're talking about how to share the information within the organization. We are talking of how to help your colleague to achieve more. We are, we are talking about how technology will help us actually leverage what our colleagues have already um, succeeded, successfully provided. The third pillar is optimization of our operations. In the digital world, there is no mistake of error. If you are going digital, and you have problems in the way you operate, it would be most possibly the, the, the irreversible damage to your brand image. And the fourth pillar, and most important, is that we need to infuse digital in our products and services and to create new business models and new sources of revenue that all the previous speakers have referred to before. This, these new systems, new applications that were going to be based will also need to be systems of intelligence. We need to add relevance at every interaction we have within our organization, with our customers. The, the example that most, is mostly studied is the one of Uber. 
that we all know, most of us maybe will have used the approach, which brings relevance at every interaction and has changed dramatically the way that we did before just order a taxi. Just play a final video on banking because I've actually uh, finished my time. I'm not gonna say anything about Microsoft, so let's see how we could transform banking and making a loan with the new in digital era. Yeah. Banks are transforming operations to be fully digital with technologies that help customers engage the bank for their banking needs more quickly and easily. As a financial advisor, I'm expected to be always available to my clients with convenient ways to meet. My customers don't always have time to meet on my terms. Now I can meet on their terms. I'm constantly on the go, so I count on tools that facilitate my mobile work style and connect me to the information and people I need. Hello. It was only a few years ago that there was so much paper. Now all my information is digital, secure, and accessible at my fingertips. I saw on my social feed you guys landed a great deal. Yeah, that's why we needed to see you. We need help with the financing. We don't have enough money to cover this order. Right, of course. I completely understand you need some financing. Let me contact my people and we can make it all work. I'm going to set up a meeting. Oh, okay. Can you set that up quickly, though, like early next week? Because we're really pressed for time. Actually, if it's good with you, I can see if they're available right now. Absolutely. Sounds great. Technology can make collaboration and meetings a snap. Using new tools, I can quickly reach out to my team or find experts who are available to collaborate instantly. Hi, Susan. I used to email different versions of the same legal documents back and forth, and some would go undelivered because they were too large to attach. Now I can set up secure collaboration sites that can be accessed by colleagues and clients from anywhere. I've given you access to the group site. Please post your notes and recommendations. Got it. I'll review your financials and suggest the best options available to you, such as issuing a line of credit, a bank guarantee, or a short-term loan. And I'd like to explore some options. I'll take a look at creative financing via syndication and derivative products. As an investment advisor today, opportunities come and go quicker than ever before. With so much data available, I have to discover and combine data from public and private sources, analyze it, and share it as quickly as possible. As a credit manager, I rely on tools that help me meet my customers' needs while managing risks and revenue for the bank. I work with a lot of forms and structured processes, but in addition, I often turn to my enterprise social network to get access to the most current information. So we've added our recommendations to the group site. Let us know if you need anything else. Thank you both very much. I'll send the workflow off for a compliance check. As a compliance officer, I'm responsible for making sure our business is compliant with regulations and to mitigate risk. And in case of an audit, we're set with e-discovery tools that easily prove all documents, processes, and data in the bank are compliant. Great, so we have some wonderful things to offer you. We put this together for you to review and sign so you can complete this big deal. 